you can see we have our RAM already installed, our M.2 drive, and now it's time to install the CPU. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be checking out the 11400F i5 CPU from Intel. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in the CPU, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the test bench we're gonna use for the CPU. It's a six core CPU with PCIe 4.0, and the F at the end of it just means that there's no integrated versions, but you can also buy the Intel Core i5-11400 without the F if you want the integrated graphics. Now let's go ahead, let's get it installed. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep the motherboard and get the CPU installed. You can see we have our RAM already installed, our M.2 drive, and now it's time to install the CPU. So we're gonna leave that cover on, and we're just gonna gently open it back up like so. And we're gonna take our CPU out right here. And we're gonna make sure everything's lined up. We have a little tiny golden triangle right there in the bottom left-hand corner if you're reading what's on the CPU. And we have what I call a Pac-Man icon right here. So we're just gonna very gently set the CPU in place like so. And now we're gonna come back here with our fancy pantsy cover. And you can see, there we go, everything has successfully been installed right there. The cover came off just fine, and it's that simple, guys. There you go, the CPU has successfully been installed. So to get the cooler installed, you can see the first step we have to do is attach our bracket to the cooler. So you can see we got one side attached right here, and we can make adjustments depending on the socket that we're using for our build. You can adjust those between three different places. So. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Basically, we're going to take this, just gently press it in place. The holes will align. We'll take our screw, we'll drop it in there, and we'll tighten it in place. Now that that has successfully been installed, we're ready to go on to the next step, which is to line up our back bracket. Again, we have three different positions that will correspond and match with the positions that you have for the screws themselves. You can see clearly marked Intel for us and how everything's going to look, but I'll show you guys what we did. So we took this piece right here, we just gently dropped it in place, and then we have our bracket that lines up with it, and then we just press both together, it snaps right in, and now we can freely move that about between the three positions. So there's the first position, the second one, which is what we're gonna use, and then the third one. And you can adjust that as desired. So now that that's completed, we can go ahead, we can line it up with our motherboard and just gently slot it through the holes. So check that out, you can see it is through the holes and ready to go. So now we're ready to take our cooler. We can peel this plastic off. Definitely do that before you apply your thermal paste. And then you can get a feel, just do a quick little dry fit. Okay, in this case, we have our fan connector coming out here. And we have our fan that's connected showing the airflow up and in. So we're gonna want it to go just like this and drop in place. So we will tighten it down just like you see here. And that's how it's gonna be installed on our motherboard. So the next step is just to apply our thermal paste to our CPU. And then we're gonna tighten it in place. So probably too much thermal paste still. I thought they had a nice pre-applied amount, which they should. I didn't want to use it all though. That's going to be plenty for what we're doing. Just a pea size will be great. And now line it up on all sides. And then just very gently tighten everything in place. So there you go. You can see the cooler has successfully been installed. We did have to remove the fan to get easy access to those screws. And I want to point out, it's best to go corner to corner or in some sort of clockwise pattern or counterclockwise pattern to alleviate the pressure. Don't just tighten one corner down all the way and then go to the next one. Just do a turn or half a turn at a time and jump between them to fasten it in place. Now we can go ahead, we can clip the fan back on just like so, and there we go. 
everything has been installed. Now we're ready to plug it in and power it on. So you can see we got the PC up and running. Everything's working great. We also have MSI Dragon Center pulled up on the screen where we can monitor some of our CPU stats. So you can see our temp right now is 52 degrees Celsius. That's because we're under a little bit of a load using Cinebench in the single core testing right now. Also want to point out around idle with our cooler that we have on, we get around 35 degrees Celsius for our idling temperatures. Under a full load, it's going to go to around 71 degrees Celsius thanks to our open air case. Now let's look at some benchmarks. So first up, we're taking a look at CPU Z. You can see our CPU tab right here with more information on our processor. Feel free to pause it and look at anything else in more detail. Next up, you can see motherboard, same thing. Feel free to pause and look at our memory, SPD, nothing there. Our graphics card, RTX 3060. Then we have our bench test results. So first up, our CPU single thread score, 582.2, and our multi-thread score of 4,337.9. So you can see how that compares to your CPU. Now we're looking at our Cinebench score right here. So first up, we have our multi-core score of 10,193 and our single core score of 1,402. So you can see our ranking right here for our single core score. So we finish towards the top compared to some other similar and different processors that they show for us with our ranking. Let's look at the same ranking again for our multi-core score. You can see we go down a little bit further right here compared to the competition. But again, we have a multi-core score of 10,193 and a single core score of 1,402. Now you can see our Geekbench results right here. We got a single core score of 1572 and a multi-core score of 7701. We have a nice summary of our system information. So you can learn more about the system. And then we have a breakdown of our single core performance right here. So check that out. You can see everything for our single core score. And then we have a breakdown of our multi-core performance as well. So check that out and you can see each individual test. So overall, regards to 11400, I'm very pleased with the price to performance ratio we get with this CPU. It's a solid choice if you have to buy Intel 11th gen or for some reason, that's what you're fixated on. I would argue that this is either the best deal or it's eerily close to the 11600. It'll depend on how much you want to spend and what you're trying to accomplish, but either of those CPUs for a budget gaming rig, you'll be very happy with. In regards to the 11400, at the time of this video, it's actually cheaper or the same price, around the same price, to buy the version with integrated graphics versus the F version that doesn't have the integrated graphics. So I'd recommend going that route and just disabling it if you don't need it and you have a GPU. But if for some reason you can get a much better deal on the F version and you already have a GPU, then go that route and save a couple extra dollars. Well, that concludes our video thank you so much for watching don't forget the product link will be in our video description below please go ahead check it out and do your shopping from there any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you so we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support while you're at it can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel we have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website, and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily, and we can't wait to see you in our next video.